What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We are here with Geralt and Buclair. We are on the Wine is Sacred quest to head up to Anna Henrietta and turn everything in. The last thing we did with the main quest is we went to the boot black. We also went to the house with Regis. And Regis is waiting for Detlaf at this moment. So we need to go and report to Anna and tell her everything that's been going on with what we discovered about the Beast of Buclair. Before we do that, let's head to... The Dolkel Camerlengo, I believe there was something that came up on there is notes in here, so let's go and see about reading them, the ones that we actually missed. On the way up here... Is this? Bidding them farewell, <laughs> the gravestones must covered. They strode briskly on by doubts unencumbered. The witch's plate flash juices spouted and poured, covering all about in a narcospore's gore. No piece of the stylist fell from its bowels. The officer had been nabbed by aught else most foul. Oh no, foul bandits have bound our stylist in chains. A smashing Little do they know the they'll be punished in pain. They froze in their fear the knight's Not henchmen and squires, while his bowels set loose, heaven would spiral. The witcher cleft him in two lacerated, his neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the night's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. They hobbled a pace on his stump arms like crutches, all for the glory oh, of her <laughs> grace. <laughs> Duchess. Good job, Papillion. That was actually really good. Hail, fellow. Well met. Did you see this lady? She came up and picked these flowers. These are the bank's flowers. I don't- I don't think they're like public flowers. They're probably- they're probably private. She just fucking picked them all! Alright, little Papillion, keep your day job, sir. You did good. Let's head to the camera lingo. Like I said, there may have been something in here- oh. Did we just go past it? Whoa! Hold on here. Oh, we're not even in the right spot. La Papillion! <laughs> He's outside of a bank singing! Our tail. I feel like he did that stuff to get in good graces with the Duchess again. I feel like that's what was going on. Let's look around. Let's see what we have may have missed in here and then read it and get up to speed with everything. Oh, there's a shit ton of shit here. Camerlengo report on the liquidation of a Filbert Fourfingers Hunts. Holy moly. Report of night. Errantry activities in the Duchy of Toussaint. The day of this writing saw the end of criminal enforcement activities directed against one Filbert von Witten. His crease a rook, better known as Filbert Fourfingers, the above mentioned criminal was wanted for a broad range of murders and other unlawful deeds, including the masquerade of a Castle Diasa vineyard, which he committed in Co Malfeasance with his outlaw organization, henceforth Hans. This Hans had for some time occupied the ruins of the castle atop Mount Crane, using said real estate as their base of operations. They conducted numerous plunders, raids on merchants, traders, and other such mercantile expeditions, expending, in fact, to any individuals displaying signs of carrying material goods of any worth on their persons, the proceedings directed against said Filbert Fourfingers wanted by writ of law in Belhaven, Matina, and Nazair were brought to a close by the witcher known as Geralt, who acting on behalf of her illustrious grace conducted a summary field execution of the criminal and all his subordinates. The standard pay for the completion of such tasks has lowered by 30% to take into account Resort fees and immediate payment in species. Hey man, you better give me all the money. So is this gonna be a bunch? Oh my word. Wow, that was a lot. I think what I'm going to do is, let's read one more. Well, we'll read one more and we can catch up because these are just... 
from what it sounds like, this is just a recap of what we actually did with the mission. We obviously know what happened with the mission. So this is just his recap of it, basically. And we're going to read it towards the end of episodes because I want to get this main quest on. I want to start it. And we can... Let's read another one, though, for now. Like I said, we don't have nothing... Oh, look at all these fucking notes. Thirteen of them. We'll do this one, and then we'll just slowly take the rest out. We don't have anything else to read. This gives us at least something that we can read at the end of each episode. Report on the night itinerary activities in the Duchy of Toussaint. By decision of the Dokel Camerlengo, full and unfettered access to the Cuttering Manor, an administrative unit in the Sansator Valley has now been restored. Said manor had previous been declared a site hazardous to health and or life of all who visit on request of the brother-in-law of its current owners, a certain Monsieur Edward de Mouton, his crest a fox club. Is that what it says, crest? Because the other one, maybe the other one was just spelled different, because I thought it was, I thought it was crest. Above mentioned designation was based on reports of monstrous presence on the lands of said estate. Inferred to be due to a lurking lesion. As a result of the professional intervention of the Witcher known as Geralt, the danger had been vanquished and the monster deemed a Spriggan W3 classification relic. The extermination was carried out using a legally registered silver sword. The standard pay for the completion of such a task was lowered by 21% to take into account tribute exacted for the sustenance of mutilated veterans and payment made immediately in species. Are you gonna... You're paying us less every time? Is that what's going on here? Alright, well that's enough for now. Let's see if he has anything else. Greetings, Knight. You got anything else? I'm reading all these notes. It seems like you paid us less. How about my haircut? You gonna pay me more for my haircut? Just being in the presence? Well, see you later. Go in peace, friend. Go in peace, good man. Well, that was still cool. I'm happy that they added to the quest a little bit. It seems to be just write-ups, basically, on what we did. Oh, look at this rose. Oh, I thought that rose was hanging on the wall. But still, I do enjoy stumbling over my words and learning more stuff about... I guess the lore and then anything else with what we have with quests. So, Anna. So let's see what the hell we got going on now. Now that I think about it, we should have went to... Nah, we're good. I was thinking about going to Corvo, getting our buffs, but I think we'll be okay. Report to the Duchess about your hunt for the beast. Following what can only be described as a surprising turn of events, the Witcher had no choice but to report to the Duchess. He needed to inform her that the hunt for the beast would be no ordinary monster hunt. Fully aware of the fiery temperament of Anna Rietta, Toussaint's gracious ruler, Geralt was justified in thinking the meeting would not be among the most pleasant he had ever had. You think she'll be pissed? I mean, listen, we're making progress. We're making more progress than we ever had. I know it might have taken about two years of us being in Toussaint. I've no time. But all things considered, we're making more progress than anyone else had. And Regis, he's probably still in the house waiting for Detloff. He's been waiting there for a couple months because of all the stuff that we done did to this point. But still, like I said, we've made progress and we have some kind of something to give to her. At least we have more information on the killings, the motives, kinda. So, well, there's that. One more thing is the whole Count Crespi thing. Crespi was killed by Detloff, and they wanted to kill Crespi for some reasons. And it's interesting because Crespi had anti-garlic stuff on him. And if he had the anti-garlic stuff on him, then... It makes me wonder yes, if he knew no this, or if he knows this organization. Maybe these people know this organization in a way. I mean, could you foresee? Or know? That Vance were coming for you and that's why he had it? I mean, maybe. Possibly. George Zerakin. Hey, Bard. La Papillion. Is she, this is where she was last time. Your Grace, I have oh, here we go. We ready? Garrus oh, of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. 
Did you catch Milton's killer? Absolutely not. Case just got more complicated. Found the beast, but that's it. Found the beast? Case just got more complicated. Found the beast, but that's it? We didn't find shit. Found the beast of Beauclair. Just couldn't kill it. We sent you after a monster and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Stay out of this, go ahead. Let them all go to their deaths. Whoa, this is work for a Witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a Witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different, unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats, others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires, Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure, attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Want to find him, try to talk to him. Well, we want to know, we want to understand him, obviously. This is no common monster. It really isn't. This guy is really headstrong. I feel like he's going to recklessly get himself killed and everybody else. It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Yeah, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Want to find him, try to talk to him. Well, I feel like that might be the best choice, obviously. Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ha. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. I feel like it killed everyone that it was supposed to kill, right? Didn't Detloff kill everyone? On the list? Then there will be no more killings at this point, yeah? Unless 
he's really trying to get to the woman. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? We gotta draw them out. Somehow draw the blackmailers out. Free the vampire's lover, yeah! Damsel in distress! I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes. Yes. The, the west bank of the Saint-Latour. That, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Saint-Réal. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. What do you mean we all? We got partners here. I love how she's a thinker, at least. She's not... She's not dumb. I'm not saying this other guy is dumb, but he kind of wants to blindly run off and try to kill the beast. At least she's thinking and trying to get to the bottom of it and not just send your guards over and find this beast and slay him. So, and then, well, wine is sacred, obviously. <laughs> so we got to go to the specific wine, tell me. Saint Real, never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. So obviously it's more of an inside job here then. The blackmailer must be coming from the inner circle, kind of. Or... They have connections. What do you mean, we? You wanna go with us? Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? <laughs> need some time. Let's go. Hold on. Should we need some time? Hold on. Need more time. Make haste. 
Time is of the essence. We can just... Okay, because what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk to... Tell Anna Hanarita when you're ready to go. Oh, okay. Let me... I just want to sit here and collect thoughts for a second because... My lord? We obviously already been to this place. Bunch of locked doors, we couldn't get in anything. You and can't pull one over I feel like the game is making us think that Damien might be cute. involved here. Just the way he is. It almost makes me feel like Damien has something going on here. In a way. But then again, I feel like the game wants you to think that. So basically, I'm personally thinking he doesn't. But I feel like the game is pushing towards, well, he's really headstrong. And I think the game wants you to think that Damien might have something involved. Kinda. It's not showing any signs that Damien has anything involved. Besides, he said strong, wants to go and do this. Maybe he doesn't. Or maybe I'm just overthinking, but I feel like... I still feel like he's innocent. Why I'm bringing this up is that I think it's coming from the inner circle or somebody that knows the inner circle a bit. So... We all await. You are holding things up. May we depart for Castel Ravello? Absolutely not. Need more time. Make haste. Time is of the essence. I gotta go get my hair cut. Let me talk to Anna now. We all await. You are holding things up. May we depart for Castel Ravello. Come on, let's get out of here. Waiting on you. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. You just gonna rip your clothes off like last time? She just ripped her skirt right off. Castle Ravello. Castel Ravello. Interesting. I wonder if some of this stuff has anything different because we done did wine wars and stuff like that. Makes sense because this is ultimately Ravello had something going on. And now we found out that something Crespi and Crespi has this well vampire connection. Obviously he was the one that was killed. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. So basically, if we go and kill Detloff, Regis is going to have to be the one that kills him. That's the only way. But that's literally like... Regis killing Detloff is going to be like... Killing a parent. That's kind of rough. Yeah, I mean, Vilgefort's defeated Regis, but ultimately. Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Stay back, Your Grace. We shall see to this. Back you, beast. Be gone. Oh, they're over here. Help! Save us. Back you, beast. Be gone. We need to take some stuff here. We don't have anything going on. Let's do... Hag, Kidna, and Troll, and then let's whoop some ass. Come on, Damien, whoop his ass! Save us! That his name, Damien? Back you, please! Be gone! Oh. Hey, save us. Be easy. Thank you, beast. Be gone. Done. Time to move on. If, if not for you, we'd have been done for. They were fortunate Thank you. Happened by. You saved our lives. Hooray! What's up, Roach? Thank you for coming up to us. Can we you all these people? Our lives. Thank you. Your thanks. Thank you so very much. Well, we are, we're 48 now, and we can level up, we can also wear, oh, I totally forgot to go and hook up to Sant's steel sword. Let's look at it, though. Oh, my word, that is beautiful. Absolutely the best steel sword in the game. Hands down, I have never seen a steel sword in a game that looks as badass as this one. Holy moly. So we'll have to go and upgrade this. I really just want to wear it now because it's absolutely epic. What was Blaith? 
Blave? Blave is the same. It's kind of the same. Look at it. It just don't have that second little area right here. You think we can get... I mean, we're just missing out on... All we're going to miss out on is Severance. Let's put this on. I think we'll be okay for now. Just in case. Because, well... Runs. Look at this badass sword. Look at this fucking sword! That is so kick ass. Hold on. There was something I wanted to do. Oh, level up. We need to level up. I think we should do Arch Sweep again. Just keep going with Arch Sweep for now. And then we'll take it. There you go, Roach. Look at the sword. It's looking fucking epic. Look at it. It's so cool. Hold on. We got loot. Anna, you're on your own. Sorry. Got a loot. We needed that raw meat. Escort Anna to Castel Ravello. I love that we did it in the dark, too, here. Oh, you guys done rolled the fuck out. Slow down. They literally done rolled out on us. Holy. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in Old Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it. Fabricio. Fabricio. Trustworthy. We totally missed dialogue there. I think. Captain de la Tour. We did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... Your Grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Want to talk to you here for an inspection? Should we do an inspection? Or talk? Let's talk. Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, Witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about saint Real? I am at your service. Who's got access to the wine? How's the wine transported? Had any wine been stolen? The saint Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become saint Real. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally, and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Whoa, something's going on here, friend. And if it's not you, then it's a werebub, then. Obviously. How's the wine transported? Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Y Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, 
We have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have. Which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But... but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Andreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. Are you scared shitless? <laughs> we didn't even get all the questions, though, Anna. We shall wait here, Master Fabrizio. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. They seem to be running off. Damn, I think we missed a little bit of dialogue. Because they kind of ran off really fast. And we couldn't even... Fabrizio's we... blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabrizio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Well, here we go. I had a feeling we can get down here. I mean, obviously going around these vineyards, there was a bunch of locked stuff. But this did interest me when we walked past this. Hold on, Anna. I need to... You can't see down here. You got cat potion on, ma'am? So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Read the inventory. She is a beast. She just fucking snapped the fingers and scared the hell out of that man. Hold on. The history of SS, obviously. SS, often considered one of the chief treasures of the people of Toussaint, is the best known of the wines cultivated in that region. It is hard to determine when exactly the first barrels of SS were matured, though we can surmise it must have been around the time of the first human forays into the duchy's present lands. What is certain is that this wine truly gained fame only during the reign of Duchess Adela Marta, who held SS in near divine esteem, and for that reason bestowed upon Castel Ravello the privilege of being the official Ducale vineyard. She also reserved a special place in the cellars of the Bucaller Palace for SS, and to this day two barrels of every vintage are ceremoniously deposited on those shelves. The tapping of any of them is by order of the Ducale Edict Vino Sanctus S, punishable by death through dragging behind a team of horses. Well. Hold on, Anna. Everloose 1269 Vintage. Alright, let's look at this first. Can we talk to you, though? No? Mm, Vintner's Log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Hmm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. There was 1269 over there. That was the 1269. Hold on, before we click on any of them, let's loot. Let's loot the area first. Maybe there might be more stuff to read. Come on, Anna. Well, maybe it wasn't... It probably wasn't this one over here, then. Or it might have been. Everloose, 1269 vintage. Everloose. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. I've learned from the best. To be honest with you, Anna, we just hoard. We drink anything. Everloose is definitely good. Oh, there's one up there, too. What in hammer? Hold on. Let's just go in order. It's probably going to be the one on top. SS. Oh, this is the one. Est, est. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. 
Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. SS. Well, keep going with the... A short history of Pomino. Though Pomino does not enjoy the fame of SS or even Everloose, it is still attracts a considerable number of admirers and remains among the best wines in the world. Few, however, know how close the world came to losing its slightly acidic, surprisingly deep aftertaste. The cause of this averted disaster was Philozera mortifera. That is to say, Philozera the deadly, a species of amphid whose sudden attacks nearly wiped out all existing vines of this variety. For many weeks, no one was able to exterminate this pest, and it seemed Pomino was doomed to extinction. In the end, however, the amphids were defeated by Dokel Alchemist, and a carefully selected group of vintners was appointed to ensure its vines took root at Castel Ravello once more. Some experts from the time of the plague claim their restoration efforts introduced cross contaminants and never again were they able to extract from this grape that same bottomless flavor as before. Interesting. Foriano, 1272 vintage. Fiorano, Dandelion's favorite, adores it. Ah, yes, that sophisticated palate of his. You know you still love him. Mm. You don't really have, well, I guess, I guess he can't, I guess you guys can't get together now. Pomino, a 1273 vintage. Got Pomino over here. Damn, saying all the words wrong. Not even close. Find Sangrio from 1269 vintage. It's probably up here. Come on, Anna. That's not a book, no. Sangrio, 1270 vintage. Sangrio. 1270 vintage. That's Damn. the wrong year. Keep looking. I am literally four for four with not pronouncing the names of these wines correctly. Anna, there's no way up here. Is there a way up the other side? Probably. Right here, you big goon. We have one back there. And then one here. It's probably this one. 1268 vintage is going to be the last one. Thank you. San Real. Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right year. 1269. I feeling we'll find something awry. We probably will. A spillage of the wine. The travesty behind that. San Grill. 1269 vintage. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Well, aren't you smart? Full. Eps. Absolutely full. Full. You full over there too? This one's full too. Full. So did you? Oh, you checked one. Why don't you check this one? This one's full too. Anna, they're all full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sandria? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Oh, Ready. Yeah. We can start. Tap the barrels for Anna Henrietta. Are you ready to get drunk? Come on. Ready. Step aside. You going first or you take a shot first? Come on. So? Those hints of spice, mm, distinctive. This is Son Real. That Son Real? How about this one? Come on. 
She's going to get crunk. Enjoy it. <laughs> Revolting, bitter plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth, and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was... enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Who'd you sell the wine to really thought nobody find out? Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Really thought nobody find out? Obviously, to be honest with you, he probably didn't. I mean, he covered his tracks pretty good. Who besides someone that was born and bred in... well, obviously. If you think about it. Yeah, he was screwed regardless. Because every... probably majority of the people here in Toussaint, because they were born and bred off of the wine, they can tell what wine is just by the smell of it, without even telling you what the name of the wine is. Let alone, I mean, she tasted it and knew exactly it wasn't what it was supposed to be. So you were pretty screwed from the get-go, friend. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself, how'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men, the kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there, they transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a, a few days passed, a, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it, have it ready to deliver. Well, you're gonna give it to us and we're gonna waylay this. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? 
We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. I'll be back soon, Damien. Need a minute. Make haste. We await only you. Can we talk to Anna a bit more? Tell Damien when you are ready to go. Interesting. We so we have... have oh, without your grace. Ah! The important bit is yet Ooh. to come. Obviously. I mean, there is a lot of shit going on here. Let's read the journal here. Whoa. All right, so we read this. Geralt managed to sway the Duchess's conviction. She agreed that he would, for now, forego tracking the vampire and focus instead on locating whoever held the vampire in thrall. He had some leads already. These prompted him to go to the Dokel Vineyard of Castel Ravello, for it was the source of the famed Sangriel, a wine only ever served at the Dokel Palace to the noblest guests to come to court, including, not to boast, the undersign, as in you, Dandelion. And I will be candid. I've had better. Yet it seems at this time that whoever was blackmailing the vampire had acquired a taste for Sangriel specifically. Thus, the Witcher and the Duchess set out to inspect the vineyard in the hope of finding another lead. The Witcher's suspicion had proved true. Sangriel seemed indeed to be the key to finding the blackmailer. The steward of Castel Ravello admitted he had sold a barrel of wine to the Centrian noble. The Witcher and a unit of the Kel Guardsmen decided to wait in ambush for said connoisseur. Do we have anything come up in the characters? No? I think on Hannah. Nope, that was from the beginning, basically. All right, well, let's go. Let's follow. What Fort Ashtray was that? Fort Ashtray. Fort Ashtray was the ruins. Fox Hollow. It was up here. There it is, right here. Fort Ashtray. Remember, we went to the ruins, and I was looking around, and there was nothing in there. I was convinced there was something. So, yeah. There's also this other place here, Duntine Castle. Remember we went here and there was just no way to get in, so... This is probably something with main quest, too. Anyways, I think we should talk to Anna, Damien, get going. Witcher, hurry. Anything for you, ma'am. My men stand ready. Say the word and we will make for Fort Astra. It is time to catch these wine thieves. You know, Damien's a bit rough around the edges, but I'm starting to feel like we probably can trust them. It's just the way the trend is with the Witcher. They seem to always want to pin something on somebody, right? As in, okay, if you're not thinking too far into it, you would think this Damien is probably guilty. He's got to have something into it. If you're thinking just a little bit into it, like how it's, you feel like it's definitely something from the inner circle going on here. You would think it was Damien because he's acting, and he's not acting sketchy, but he's being really headstrong and reckless. And that is signs of maybe something. But I feel like they want to throw you astray. I feel like we should be able to trust this Damien, and we, we probably can. Let's start. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Geralt's got shade even at nighttime with his hair. It's luscious. Crazy. I do seem to I like like this Damien guy. He seems really cool. Loyal. Fiercely loyal. A few hours later, the ruins of Fort Ashtray. I feel like we should have told Regis about all this. <laughs> Relax. Now we wait. Ah, our favorite vintner.
It's not him. Kinda throw down, suckers. Hornets. Come on. Watch yourself, Damien. I'm wheeling. Eat that, you son of a bitch. That's how it's done, Damien. Any mouse with him? Come on. Let's go. Eat that, son of a bitch. Well, actually, you can't eat nothing now. You don't lost your head. He's a witcher. What a fucking silly haircut. <laughs> Is it just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher. A moment. I was wrong about you. And I think I was wrong about you. I've been assuming a little bit that you might have something involved, but I don't feel like you do. Friendship is always built during fights. Battles. Battle born together. Had no reason to trust me. We did what we came to do. That's what matters. I mean, you had no reason to trust me. I get it. If you are fiercely loyal to the Duchess, then I understand. Because at this point, you really can't trust anybody. Well had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. She's here? Might have known she'd come? Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <laughs> Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call him... Wait. If he doesn't wish to speak, he needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? What? Could always axe him. Great idea. Only use this kind of bait as a last resort. Good idea. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Where were these barrels going? Barrels? Where were you gonna take them? I don't know! Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know! Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go, but he lies over there, dead, that one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port, but where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true, you must believe me. Who hired you? He, he'll kill me. Ought to be worried about me right now. 
Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Join you there? Join you there? I'll join you. We'll meet there. We shall await your arrival. To be honest with you, you probably should have we probably should have just went with her. Join Anna Henrietta at the guard post in the port district. That's fine because I really just wanted to loot Wine is Sacred. And then we will start that next episode. Let me go and wow, this is getting interesting. It's getting pretty heated. She is shrewd. Anna is shrewd. I like it, though, because she is really taking charge. She's not like your basic run-of-the-mill li ruler, leader, ruler. She is literally getting her hands dirty in all of this shit. It's her lands, you know? And she is taking that to the next level with one to help. I feel like there's been... Out of all the rulers that we've seen so far, who else do you think would accompany Geralt on something like this? You think Foltest would? I feel like Foltest would as well. I don't think Amir would. No. Radovid definitely wouldn't. I feel like she's just different. And I feel like Foltest was different like that too. He would definitely... Poussin Night Steel Sword. Yeah, it's good that we met them over there. Because this is a lot of shit here. I also kind of want to look around here once more. Join Anna Henrietta at the guards post in the Port District. I mean, we can go and try that. And see what it leads us. It might be a good idea. Let's go and... Let's go and do it. I feel like we have enough time. I don't want to stop yet. It's getting really good. It's getting really, really good. False teeth. Would there be anything else here, though? So Geralt could have said we only use that in last resort means. Live bait. But I feel like we had to be a bit shrewd there. Not that I wanted to agree with... Anna, full force, and just do what she's telling us to do. I feel like it was the best decision. Hey, where's Fort Ashtray's uh, thingy majiggy at? Oh, it's all the way back here. Fort fucking Ashtray. I knew it! I knew there had to be something here. So there was nothing here all along. It was just the ambush was here. And we had this Centrian man. Or just the Centrian. That's all we know at this point. Not much to go on. So. It's really hard to say who this fucking organization is. You think it's an old organization? It's gotta be. It has to be. It has to be something. I'm still banking it's vampires. It just feels like it is because there's vampires everywhere. They truly are, friends. They're fucking everywhere. They're all in the city. There's Brooks's everywhere. I'm starting to feel like that maybe... The other person that's doing this blackmail on Detloff might be other vampires, though. But it's really, truly hard to tell. We just gotta... We have to think before we make decisions. We don't want to be too rash about stuff. There's things that was laid out all for us to this point. Like I said, I still feel like there is an involvement with possibly another group of vampires, I feel. Matter. It might be a family strife or internal type strife going on between the vampires. I mean, Regis said there was all types of clans. So that could be something. Her grace awaits in sight. Damien's codex updated and I believe Here Anna's at last. too. We lack only Damien now. I'm worried something might have happened to him. Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. 
He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's noses. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Have you ever thought that he might be a middleman? Centurion could actually be a middleman. It's fucking possible. Like I said, I feel like there's something more going on. There's some kind of group or something. Look, Geralt's sleeping. You sleeping, Geralt? Or... Go ahead, put the hair over your face. You know it. It's the shade, friends. The shade of the hair is literally so relaxed in the Geralt that he's not opening his eyes. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker! He's looking like he has his eyes open. You're a creepy Geralt. Anyways, the sentry could be a middleman. Like I said, I do feel like it might be some kind of involvement with vamps. Maybe another group of vamps. Still don't know this Centrion's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. <laughs> Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Centrion, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Centrion does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Not the first time, no. What'd you learn, tell us? Not the first time? Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered? We identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted. Fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. A reception? Damien, why couldn't we do all this? You did a lot of stuff, friend. We literally just, uh, I guess, fast forward a little bit because Damien Dunn did our job for us. Let's see, there goes hand in hand that Damien may not be fully innocent. I really, truly am hoping he is. I feel like I want him to be just fiercely loyal and that's it. I don't want him to be part of it. I don't think he is. But still, like I said, it's just, he just did a lot of stuff for us. A shit ton of stuff. What's that? The Mandragora. What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours, and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique, consciously, I think, behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Need to nab the Centrion. We really do. Gotta nab the Centrion. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men. Surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. 
If the Synthrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, oui, Your Grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Who knows, Damien? Time to get drunk, though. <laughs> Rat the Cintrian. We'll get him. Did Carol just flicker this light? Turn it off. We're gonna take this Cintrian and whoop his ass, Damien. Optional, put on clothes. And a Henrietta will consider appropriate for your sorry. Mm. Oh, we have clothes at Corvo. Just in case. Case one armed. Adelard? Audacious rat, the Cintrian. But we'll get him. One armed Adelog, real name unknown, age unknown. A witness described him as a man of average height and a muscular, boxy, even build. Dark eyes, nose clearly has been broken repeatedly. Distinguished marks, arm cut off below the elbow. Adelard usually covers his stump with a sleeve of his shirt or coat. Sometimes he wears a prosthetic. Area of operations, primarily Hotville, but it is suspected he has contracts throughout Beauclair. One arm Adelard is suspected of forging at least 50 paintings, along with their certificates of authenticity. Said paintings can be found in the collections of the private collectors defrauded by Adelard. The forgery was uncovered due to an error of the part of the fraudster. One of his middlemen offered to sell Countess de Bussant Bellhaven Fields. The Countess immediately alerted the guard for he had just tried to sell her a painting which has been in her family for generations. I'm gonna go to your house, steal your shit, and sell it to you. That's exactly what Geralt does, literally, every single day. Goes to steal everyone's food and sells it off. Well, we have Damien, we gotta meet Anna. I believe we have the clothes at this I point. double the patrols. Just in case. I f Book? Oh, this is one of them books that we can't read. Can we talk to Damien once more? Audacious rat, the we need to go back to Corvo, and I'll do that before next episode. I'll get everything. I won't put anything on. But I'll go and grab all the stuff. But we need to blend in with the crowd, so I'm guessing we probably gotta wear a mask, too. Guard her grace closely. Audacious rat, the city. We got a bunch of masks. See, there's a wolf mask right here. Can we wear this? Concealment? Let you blend into the crowd. Should we wear this? I also need to go and get this done. I will do that before doing this quest. Where is this quest at? Because I don't want to get too close to where Anna might be. Oh, she's all the way over here. The man from Centra, put your clothes on. Anna Henrietta will consider appropriate for the soiree. Easy peasy. And this is... Meet Anna... Oh, this is... Wait. Is this a store? Maybe? That might even be a store. It possibly probably is. I'll go to Corvo, right? And before next episode, I'll get all the clothes that we have at Corvo. And before we start next episode, I'll be over in this general area. And if we have to buy more, I'm going to go to this anyway. So I'll leave the clothes off and I'll go here and see if we can actually get more or something. Because I feel like this outfit that we have at Corvo only has the top. I don't feel like it has pants or anything else, so either way, we're gonna have to go. Though, to be honest with you, it might even, if we go to, if we go to Corvo... Let's go to Corvo now. Let's go to Corvo and pick up our clothes. Just in case it updates the quest when I actually pick the, pick the stuff up. I feel like that's the best idea. Because we have things at Corvo... It's thin scrapings around here. ...that... At least the might be the stuff. I know we have a shirt there. We also have all geared stuff. I'm gonna pick up all geared stuff too. 20 grounds, Corvo. Let's go to Corvo. Time to go home. Sorry, Anna.
Yeah, but we have old geared stuff too. That might be something we should consider. I mean, while I'm here, I'm gonna drop some of the stuff off. I would say get buffs, but no, I'm not gonna get buffs right now. Wasn't there something about talking to BB? Maybe. I feel like we. Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard Vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Thank you, Biebs. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Alright, like I said, we have... old gear stuff here. Ordnate robe. We can maybe wear this. I would love to wear old gear stuff, but see, there's also other things. We have other stuff in here. Can we put more trophies up? Victor's Cup. Which one was that? The cards, there it is. We gotta put a painting up too. Can we take this one down? Hold on. What painting are we gonna take down? Let's take down this one. Ukler Palace. Let's put up... I want to put up the one... White Wolf by Count Bado. Can we see it? I think... I don't know. Was that good or... Oh, that's old geared in... Iris. I want to keep that one. Do we have any more paintings? That we can put up here? What's up in this one? Eratusa? Tower at the sundown? Let's see. Look at this. Knight returning from his quest. Let's put some random guy up there. Ship leaving harbor. I feel like we have all the ones. Eau Claire Palace. Matilda's first steps. Herbalist's hut. Harvest time and white orchard. Let's put harvest time and white orchard up. A throwback. Anyways, we have something. Hold on. Who the fuck's bed is that? Is that BB's? No, BB's house is out there. It's a little green one, isn't it? We have other things in here. Look, we got the naked Geralt there. We have... We did buy something. It was this one. Elegant Buclair Doublet. Let's get that. But do we have boots to go with it? Elegant Buclair Boots right here. We just don't have fucking pants. At least I don't think we do. And this is the ordinate robe. Hmm. I'm gonna put the Manticore Sword away and I'm gonna put Iris away. Actually, no. Iris is going on the wall. Okay, so we have the ordinate robe, which is old geards. Or is this one old geards? We gotta this one, we gotta put that one on. But we need pants. I don't think we have pants. Anywhere's in here. Look at all these fucking heads. Yeah, I don't think we have any pants pants. Remember the caretaker's shovel. Oh, here we go. There's a skeleton of breaches. I guess we'll take it for now. Oh, Fury. Feline. Oh, look, friends. All we have is the first set of the feline. It's still something to consider. At some point, we are going to need to consider about making them or not. I'm still on the... I'm still in the fritz about it. I don't know. I feel like I want to have something for our next playthrough. King Foltest Mask. King Foltest Mask. We can do Foltest. I feel like I want to still do the wolf. It just feels fitting. Yeah, there's no pants in here. I think this is it. Put on the clothes. Nothing updated, which is fine. Let's go put Iris back out here. And then... Grandmaster Wolven, get off of there. And then we're gonna put Iris up. 
There it is. Iris is on the wreck so everyone can see. And then we need to put something over here. We need to put some armor on this side. Uh, this one. What the hell are we going to put on that one? No, we'll keep it bare for now because we'll put old gear stuff back on there when we're done. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here. And when we come back, we're obviously going to be in the general area over here. And we're going to start the continuation of the Man of Sintra and just take it from there. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.